Well, hello commanders, Commander Plater here, and welcome to today's live stream. Sorry for the uh, slightly delayed start, I guess. Um, had a coughing fit, didn't I? So, not much I could really do about that. So, <coughs> I've also got a lovely sheen on now, because I've just used my inhaler, and it's like, whoa! Hand trembles like crazy! Um, <laughs> Interesting enough, Gary, that little comment got caught up in spam. YouTube's like that, nah, bro. That's spam. Um, <clears throat> but right. I'm going to be super chilled. Um, good news is I've got some steroids. Found it yesterday. Definitely is infl inflammation, so I'm not, like, <laughs> not dying. So, there's that. Um... We well uh, no it's better philosophy and all that. Um, so we've got the next jump location plotted already. Um, we're not going to jump immediately because um, I want to have a little bit of an explore of the local area because I kind of cut the stream. Sure, well, ended yesterday because I was hungry. So <laughs> got to do what we got to do now. This entire system has been well and truly discovered by now, um, as I imagine quite a few of these have been. By the guys that have come with me. <coughs> All right. Apologies for the cough. Nothing I could do about it. It's just there. It is what it is. And um, yeah, I think we're rather sweaty. Um, right. Double chat. There we go. Oof. Oof. Headphones. So yeah, got some steroids for it. Uh, not the kind that make you buff, clearly. So, um, what we have is ones that will help with the inflammation and also apparently making me really super hungry. So that'd be fun. Um, I'm down for that. It's an excuse to eat, isn't it? So, that's all good. Uh, Ibex, hello, how you doing? Um, <coughs> Obviously, I've missed everyone who's come in so far, but hey, how you all doing? Uh, no and no, not today. <laughs> Got Black Panther, a Black Panther t-shirt. Black Panther, which technically you could just say Panther. Um, just wasp were there, you could really get away with just saying Panther, but that's okay. Oh. What do we have here then? Oh. <coughs> no. Oh, Hunter. No, no, no. No, no, no. I've had enough London for this week. Um, having to rush in uh, like twice already. I was there yesterday morning. And uh, I'm like, that's enough. That's enough of that. God. And obviously that was Monday as well. So I'm like, oh, that's enough. That's enough of that. Now, what we were talking about, funny enough, I'm sorry, I just mentioned the BrewDog. We were talking about doing a, um, well, there was discussions of, of a community meetup. Um, and I would definitely like to do another one soon. Um, it needs to be safe, though. And that's the important thing. Um, I don't want to hold what is essentially a super spreader event because um, that would be, be really bad wouldn't it imagine being that guy I went to this YouTuber's event and I got COVID it's like oh no thank you so um, we'll be hanging on for a bit before we can do one which is a shame but safety first Um, but we did talk about when we do 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 one. Yeah, I said that. So do do. Um, maybe we piggyback on someone else's event. Uh, Fantasticon is a possibility. Um, for those who don't know, Fantasticon is a um, <coughs> a uh, it's an event, kind of like a community meetup for lots of different places. Elite always has a presence there, which is lovely. Um, 
and uh, myself and school went last year and that's where the code brown occurred not even last year before wow it's been that long so um hashtag thanks covid that's not a hashtag you want trending is it Uh, oh right, and then there's that hidden behind there. That's annoying. It's like the last one. Yeah, 2020 really didn't happen, which sucks. Like, no one wants to have an entire year disappear, do they? That's the thing, it's not, not good for anyone. Uh, for lots of people like me, were stuck, completely stuck, so having to shield, be uh, extremely vulnerable. Um, where's this high metal content world then? There we go. Gotcha. Right. Let's have a quick look at this one. Look at this system. See what's in it. See which one of the boys has already landed on it. Uh, landed everywhere. They haven't. Huh, nice. Okay. Let's go scoot over and see what we can find. No volcanism on these, but we might get some lovely plant life. This is like one of these worlds that has the horrifically red, terrifying atmosphere. So, um, I think first jump is going to begin to be prepped around the half past two mark. It's about 15 minutes, so I'll start the prep. So, won't jump for another half an hour. I think that's the plan. Oof. Oh, also, we have some, uh, we've got some custom emojis on the channel now. Which is exciting. Um, so, if anyone wants to use them, you are more than welcome to. That's why they are there. Uh, they also give me emotes over on Twitch as well. Uh, once they are all approved. Hang on. Third icon down. Gypsy, are you talking? in the system map because surely I won't see that until all oh, the organic information unscanned I haven't scanned it yet have I oh biological too oh okay I see what you mean which seems odd that we can see it there so for example we know this one doesn't have any bio stuff with its 100% argon atmosphere. And it's also 100% argon. Okay. Weird. But what that does potentially mean, if the atmosphere is the same, you could transfer life from one planet to another very easily. It's not that easy. I, I know that. But yeah, it's always nice to have the... I think it felt like the first footfalls and the new first discovered, isn't it? In fact, this entire system hasn't been discovered before. So, it's it's mine. Mine to be discovered. I don't want to map the whole thing. Because, um... I can he be bothered. So... So there. Um, oh yeah, I mean it's not it's not been handed in yet, Sonic. So technically, technically, I am the first person here. I'm saying that I'm taking it. Yeah, Vulture could be interesting. Could be a very interesting thing. Um, I don't know how it would fit with our current. current um, 
Current ways? Current gameplay? I don't know how that would fit with that. But yeah, someone else could have already explored here, but they've not had data in. Yeah, but Vulture, that's kind of like a... Does that mean it would then be there for other people? I, I'm struggling to see this planet, actually. Um, I'm suddenly looking at it, I'm like... This is not the colour I was expecting it to be. Like... I don't really have a pattern for for three pro well four probes needed. Surface scanned by fifty percent. That's it. So it's got bacteria and the fonticulua. 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 Which are everywhere. So, there's that. But this, you know, I hate to comment purely on the on the, uh, the appearance, but it, this is dark. Oh no, that's too fast. Too fast. Too fast. Thank you. But yeah. What a interesting. Planet. Yeah, fa yeah, I love that. It's uh, it's so dark. I can only assume it's from the DC universe. Although, it just weirdly changed lighting on the way in, so that's always fun. It's it's a highly scarred world, relatable. I'm picking some random little places, like right by a canyon, for example. Seems reasonably random. And this is the day side, which is weird, considering it's so, so dark. It's a very, yeah, whipped. That's right, yeah, it's been flogged. Um, medieval cyberpunk, yeah, I, I use a HOTUS. I use um, an X52 Pro as my HOTUS of choice. Okay, and then now when we're at ground level, it's more red, almost like reddish. This is weird. But you know, we got life. Let's go check it out. Just desolate. It's got the real kind of like. Um, we don't need night vision if we've got the uh, the genetic sampler. Well, I mean, we do. But even like night vision on the planet is like do, not really because it it, it is lit. Lit. <laughs> Um, as the kids would say, but it's not very well lit, you know? I I find it confusing as planets go, like, is that is it lit, is it not lit? <laughs> no, Steve, no, no I don't. Um, that'd be wishful, wouldn't it? Put night vision on, on, the, uh, on the ship. Head off in a, another spot, try and find some of these uh, these mushroom mushroom boys. Oh, 
which we got some there. I mean, that has to be that has to be far enough. But yeah, I'm thinking this trip is mainly about getting biological, the xenobiology rating under my belt. That's the idea. But I'm just going to casually say that I absolutely love this. I mean, I could also put light the, the light on on my suit. To be fair, yeah. This is this now where we are is much feels much darker. Wait, is this the? Because it's much lighter over there than where we are, but the shadow would indicate that we're it, it's near noon on the planet. Um, one thing I'm going to point out is I've had nearly perfect 60 frames per second the whole time that I have been out exploring. So, obviously, people in settlements cause problems. But just the planets don't. But yeah, in my headphones, this is, this is like one of these interesting things. I'll have to shut up for this. Um, so you stand any chance of hearing it. Is you can actually feel the air whip around. Whip around your ship as you fly. Which I've never noticed before because I've been too focused on running and shooting stuff. Which is interesting. Game sample complete. The um, Fonticulua um, Campestris Emerald, which I thought we'd already had on a different planet, but I guess we'll never know. <coughs> yes, yeah, Sonic. The FDev, the the um, sound team at FDev has always been uh, exceptional. All right, let's plot the jump. Because I'm really aware we're not going to make it. We are not going to make it to the um, to the Statue of Liberty Nebula in uh, in the two streams that we have. Including this one. So I'm like, but that said, we're spending the whole Monday exploring the Statue of Liberty Nebula. If we're a little bit late, we'll be a little bit late. I'm the one making the schedule, so it's fine. So we can do whatever the hell I like, more or less. But I don't want to, I've, I've, I've taken people out, so I'm suddenly aware that I have to bring them back in a timely manner. Um, no, I haven't, but it's, um, it, I don't want to be late back, because, you know, we're on the party bus, um, and I gave a time, 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 time frame, you know, then I can't not stick to it, because that'd be crap, wouldn't it? Hey, everyone, I'm going to leave you behind if you're not here on time. I'm not there on time. That would be bad. Like, no one wants that. Drive 
Cause I don't want to be that guy. Um, <laughs> Chris, are you, are you suggesting that I should get in the back of the van? No, I'm not doing that. Yeah, I'm, I'm going. I'm going. Don't worry. Yeah, but I'm not going to be the guy. I'm not going to be the one that kidnaps people. Also, it's remembering that I have to not have my ship blown up. <laughs> like, I can't afford to do anything stupid. I'll lose my exploration data that I've got. So, there's a lot more to consider now. A couple of systems is good. I can't set it to the carrier, Chris. I don't have Universal Cartographics aboard. I didn't put it on there. The reason I didn't is because I I am um, I, I want people to collect the data and sell it when we get back for BGS purposes. I, I don't want it to be wasted. Selling it to my carrier. Who is Ryzen Andongian Inaba? Who, who, who is that? That's all I want to know. Is it someone in chat? Like Moon Rabbit, is it you? Okay, because it's like I saw that you'd either got footfall on a couple of planets, and I was like, oh, okay, cool, but I didn't know who you were. Still got some lighting issues with the little red and blue flash. We don't want that to happen, really. Right, I think we're. It didn't take me long to get back to it. So, right, eleven minutes to go. Eleven whole minutes. So I've noticed that we've gone through like a really dense patch of space already. You know, we're coming to a slightly less dense patch, and it's really difficult to tell. But if we move this way, you notice that the stars are a little bit denser. Um, like, uh, as we move, you can kind of... It's like... We're going in the direction of a spiral, of one of the galactic spirals. So, as we go, and you can see in here, this bit here, is actually slightly thinner. You can tell by the, the stars there. So, uh, about to jump, Gary, is is what you missed. So yeah, we're going to we're crossing over kind of like a branch. I guess we're crossing into a uh, thinner patch of space. It's interesting. Hey, Minnie, how you doing? So yeah, we're taking a slight detour further out and then back down and in. Um, I'm hoping, as journeys go, this should be pretty clear. So I want to get to Raxler. Maybe today. Yeah, it's going to be... How far away is that from now? It's too many jumps. That is too many jumps to do. In one stream, I think. Otherwise, spend all my time jumping. I don't want to do that. Um, it's what we're calling. Yes, yeah, it's, it's what we're um, we're saying is Raxley, Yeah. 
Yemeni. Yeah, uh, we're saying that's Rasta. Um, if we have a look on the old galaxy map and we look on my bookmarks. Um, you can see Raxler. There it is. Um, obviously has a different different name in the game called NGC4609 Sector WT-W B32-0 um, and I mean of course that's where Raxler is um, how we found it is an interesting interesting little story um, I just picked a system and went I think it's there no one's been there yet no one has been to that system yet um, to, to check um, or there's no real evidence to suggest it's there but well, I figured I would just start calling it Raxler as a bit of a joke and I'm hoping it catches on we will see <laughs> so um it's not it's not like a, a particular reason I chose it other than I think it looks a pretty good candidate and I chose that before I saw the Statue of Liberty Nebula so um, I'm glad I got you Mini that was the intention there it's gonna be a couple of people we've get surely it's in a line of planets the former line but why though <coughs> but why though um, nails I mean Raxite is meant to be um, I can't like it's only briefly been mentioned. Like that's it, it's been briefly mentioned. It's not um it's not really a real thing as such. Like, it's this no one really knows what it is, what it does. Um I think it's meant to be like a <coughs> excuse me. Um a hunter if you do, um take me with you. Because I don't want to jump out there myself. Um, but yeah, it's supposed to be. I think the Iconians from Star Trek. That's basically what it is. Iconian gateway location type thing. I, I think that's what it's supposed to be. The gist of it. Um, I've only really seen. I've seen it more referenced. Um, <laughs> oh God, Picard! Could you imagine if I did title the tri the um, to trip to Raxler? Oh God, I would just get roasted. Uh, Mini. Um, I had to delay the start of the stream because I was having a coughing fit, so not not super. Uh, but I do have some steroids for it, so uh, that should improve things. That's the idea. I'd rather I didn't have it. That is the the gist of things. Is I'd rather I didn't have it. So, uh, oh, buttons. So, five and a half minutes to go. Uh, it should have helped me, the, the steroids should help with the inflation. Uh, inflammation, always get that, always do that. Rename the toy carrier to Axa. Hmm, interesting Picard. Could do that, but Battle Cat. Got to keep it as Battle Cat. Maybe Rax is where they hit series. There's a lot of um, there's a lot of things missing in the Soul System, isn't there? Like realistically, there's a lot. Where's Phobos and Demos? Number one. Where are they? They're not there. How's how's the how's Doom Guy supposed to I mean honestly what I should have done was I should have Um Oh, go away. 
Oh, bloody hell. I do hate the galaxy map sometimes. Uh, it should be fun, Mini. I mean, personally, I... Oh, no. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Um, <laughs> system map. Um, yeah, like, Soul is really bare bones. But we've got all of these in there. Which no one's ever heard of. Like, no one's heard of this. You've heard of Pluto, you might have heard of Charon. Obviously, you've heard of all, all, the, all the big players. But there's some places you haven't heard of. So yeah, Maki Maki. Make make. A nice world. Let's make make. And then of course the well known two two five zero eight eight two thousand seven O R ten. Um but yeah, I'm just surprised that you've got Mars. And has has no satellites. And obviously the moon is permalocked. And so is Triton. But I'm kinda of like, why is Triton permalocked? Like it's fully mapped out. Why? Yes, it planet nine. It's like well, <coughs> I'm like, hang on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Pluto's the ninth planet anyway, so it's fine. Like you know, I'm I'm at the age where I'm like, no, Pluto's a planet. No, I, I think some of the ideas is that they've they've pulled lots of like things from the the rings. Of Jupiter and um, and Saturn is that they've pulled ice down and they slammed it into the slammed it into Mars um, to help. I think that's some of the ideas um, around the terraforming of Mars. But <coughs> I don't know. But yeah, whenever it's like Planet Nine, I'm like Pluto. Pluto's a planet, right? Right? That dwarf planet. But also, interesting fact, um, if you didn't know, Mars, uh, uh, no, Mars, Pluto and Charon um, actually have binary orbit. They orbit each other what's going around. And for the longest time, they thought Charon was a moon. Um, I mean, immense, a millennia isn't that long. And also, I mean, it'd be billions. Billions. But no, um, that doesn't sound, that doesn't sound right. I gotta realize it doesn't sound right. Like aliens, right? Aliens. I'm not saying it's aliens, but right, we're leaving. So if you're not on board, tough. Pro Rock has already been left behind. Um, Carnotaurus, uh, you think Mars moons were a little bit too small to make with adding? No way! I mean, Hunter, yeah, it could be that. You think it's a mass relay? From some top quality sci fi franchise. I, one thing I need to do is I need to convince people to uh, take me out to Omega at some point. If anyone fancies taking me out to Omega, that would be cool. Um, I don't want to go myself. I want someone else to take me. Um, anyone fancies it?
is so I can do another one of my um, uh, sci-fi franchise locations, sci-fi locations in the lake that you can visit. Um, Omega is Nebula. Yeah. To me, things like this is like a little bit blurry. Hang on. I'm like. No, 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 it's not. That's just me imagining things, apparently. So, everyone off. Got 45 minutes to explore, and then we're leaving again. <laughs> 45 minutes to find something cool. Go, go, go. Oh, very exciting, John. Just thought I'd let you know, mate. Uh, you have a uh, a new little badge next to your name because of how long you have been a member of the channel. How exciting. You have got the Milky Os Ocelot Man next to your name. Because why wouldn't you want that? Like, like genuinely, why wouldn't you? And also, yes, the carry jump audio is awesome. Question is, did we all pick different systems to go to to do our little bit of exploration? Do lots of icy worlds. It's a shame. And it feels like they're all very far away. High metal. More high metal. And then back to what I see. I'm kind of surprised they aren't on the orbit line. It feels like they're not on the orbit line. Right. No, the um, the th the Thargoid interdiction is it feels absolutely nuts. Like when it, I just remembered like my, the first one that I experienced, and it was just like, oh my god, am I gonna die? Am I gonna die here? Uh, none of those are landables, and they're all very far away. So they get a free pass. Because I can't be bothered to uh, go look at them. I'm going to assume this isn't where we just went. Or just came from. Should it be? I don't think it should. Difficult to tell. The next system, quickly. Uh, just a quick reminder, if you missed yesterday's Twitch stream, then the um, the upload will be going live later on today. Uh, at 7, 7 p.m. So it'll be after this stream. Um, nails, I mean, I, I remember it, it, happen it happening. Um, and... I was one of the first people. This is actually I was really lucky um, to be one because it happened on like a, I think it happened on a Thursday night. I uh, know a Wednesday night, and I used to have Thursdays off work, so I was there ready. And as soon as I heard about it, I'm like, oh my god, 
Rush, rush, rush. Gonna get a video out, man. Gotta tell everyone about it. Yeah, it was, it was exciting. Although it, it was a little bit like a cutscene, and I was someone that I recorded it, I went in my Corvette, and I immediately chased after it and tried to kill it. Now you might think, oh, that's classic me, but at the time, I had people calling me an idiot because of it. Oh, you're an idiot, you shouldn't have done that. It's like, well, now there's an entire part of the game dedicated to killing them. So, um,. They've attacked space stations, they've destroyed, uh, well, you know, destroyed well, destroyed stations, chased people off planets. I'm like, now nah, I'm having that. But yeah. It's like, well, I mean, of course I did. As far as I'm concerned, pulling someone out of... Uh, yeah, yeah, there you go, Kuro. Apparently I started the war. Look, I didn't start the war. They won the war, so I gave them a war. Thank you very much. Not even that. Although I will say that our player group was one of the first groups. We were about second, second or third group uh, to take down Thargoid. Um, the first was Sovereignty because there was just tons of them. <coughs> we, we, we were we were up there I felt like we did a great job although I lost my canopy repeatedly which turns out was actually a bug and shouldn't have happened it did it was to do with the way the damage was applied, apparently. Which uh, I only found out after the Frontier Expo. Let's see what we got. Uh, no atmospheric land balls. It's a shame. But none of these have been discovered, which is kind of cool. So at least we'll get the tanks on that. I can't be bothered to. What a surprise. Um, go and find stuff. To be like, oh, I'm going to go and map the planet. Not this system. We get the old school exploration experience here. Four, three, two, mm. Also, this is day three, and I put day two on the thumbnail. <laughs> I can't bother myself there. Should not have done that. Check the galaxy map. Yeah. Go over there. It would be cool to find something unique. I am cooking my ship, apparently. Uh, it would be cool to find something like really unique out here, or discover something. Um, uh, I'm always on the hope for phenomena, phenomena, notable stellar phenomena, phenomenon. Right, I've got to change the thumbnail. Actually, I can't. It goes completely against anything I normally do. Um, <laughs> I 
I can't leave it. I can't leave it like that. Sorry guys, one moment. This is classic. This this is the the first juggling from YouTube to Twitch that I've done and managed to get confused. The uh, the process of making thumbnails is fast though, so it's okay. Sorry, 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 sorry. It's like how painfully unprofessional of me. And you guys are like doesn't matter to us, we're watching already, it's fine. It's not fine to me. Good news is I've almost done it. Almost fixed it. Yeah, it, it did. It took a while to net. I was I'm surprised it did take as long as it did for someone to do the do 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 phenomenon. Sorted. Sorted. It's like it never happened. This is a big system. This is a big system. Um, so we are going to fly ourselves above the orbital plane. Not quite a way. The thing is now, as far as we know, well, we know they are extinct. So, like, we do know that Guardians are extinct. The Braben has declared it so, and so, therefore, it must be true. Am I... How far do I have to zoom in? Feels like a big system again. Thirty six bodies. And also I have seen how far away that other star is. So Okay, good. No orbital line behind that. Oh man, there's loads of there's loads of planets. Loads. We're gonna rattle through these as quickly as possible. I know someone said it might be easier if I do this with a mouse, but I'm kinda committed to Hotus life. Uh, hey Crazer, um, journey so far. It's been interesting actually. It's been some real nice sights along the way. Um, I kind of want to. Uh, my idea was that we'd come out and enjoy the sights really, because there's no doubt that Elite Dangerous is a good looking game. And we've seen some good looking stuff along the way. And it's reminded me about exploration. 
and how I don't really do it. Like, I'm elite in exploration, sure, but that just means I did one thing a lot to get there. So, this is more of a stop and smell the roses type trip, I think. Lots of icy planets, lots. All the ice. Like, how many levels of zooming? Like, exploration, exploration. I know, because you zoom in, and 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 it's like, are we done? No, no, like, we're not done. At all. We're now into high motor content worlds. And if you have to zoom in further, I always find this really strange, like the the, the, the zooming. There we go, because it's like a cluster. Is that, ah, uh, annoyingly, asteroid clusters. Uh, Crash Borealis probably did. Um, in fact, mm, actually, I don't know if that works on VR. Like, I don't, I don't know well enough about it. Actually, realistically, me just agreeing. I'm like, actually, wait, no, I, I don't really know enough. More icy bodies. We've only got. Sorry, right, we've only got six left. Okay, final planet. Blimey. That felt like felt excessive. Uh, we have a landable atmospheric here, but it's 124,000 away. Um, that. Oh no! No no no! Got one close by. Two bicycles. Off we go. Let's go check it out. In my head, I feel like the atmospheric you can land on are worth more. I know they're not, but I'm like, oh yeah, we're going there. Like one of those. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to go there. I just want to stand on any of worlds, really. That's kind of it. That's what I want to do. Because there is a really... There's a real thing to it, you know? A feeling, almost, where it's the right place to be. Like, yeah, this is exploration. We're out here now. We're doing this. Uh, John, no. No, no, no. Uh, we've only got the light atmospheric so far, um, so things like your ice worlds, rocky worlds, um, and that's it. Because to for there to be a water world, you'd have to have a really dense atmosphere, <coughs> like one atmosphere, because <laughs> um, of the uh, well, it's just much colder. I'm trying to think about because otherwise it'd evaporate off, so you'd have to have a, a denser atmosphere. Than what do we have access to right now? Also, some of the just quickly mention um, some of the uh, screenshots that I've submitted um, on uh, on Twitter. Um, I've put on some screenshots from yesterday's streams as in my attempt for these stellar screenshots. 
I feel like I stand a good chance this week. That's what I reckon. Um, but I don't even look. Don't even look. I'm still I'm still directionless. So. to wait and see. I think it's John. What I really hope is I hope Frontier add more, add more planets and planet types in, just because it would flesh the universe out so much. Um, I, I'm aware that we've only landed or we've only explored 0.04%, but wouldn't it be cool that part of that 0.04% would then become these more alien worlds? with denser vegetation, possible actual animals. I, I think that would be a cool thing. According to EDSM, you've just got 42,000 IZ bodies. Wow. That's a lot. I mean, objectively, that's a lot of worlds, even, just to have found. Animals, yeah. Animals would be crazy. I, don't, I honestly don't know if we ever will see them. Right, this is only going to take two. So my bad to manage it in one. I said that before, and that didn't happen. Perfect. So, some mon more Fonticulua. Fonticulua. Can anyone, does anyone know how you spell this? Uh, so, not even spell it. Say it? Anyone know how you say these, these words? Fonticulua. Fonticular. Fonticula. You know what? What's always a good shout? Is Google Translate? Um, uh, Fonticulua. 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 Or is apparently Romanian. It's obviously not. Um, it's been that this is going to be another one of these things where apparently it's Romanian. According to Google Translate, unlikely. Uh, fonticulus. Fonticulus. So that's fine, and that's French. Fontic. No, I definitely mean fonticula. Fonticula. <laughs> okay. So Google Translate, in case anyone doesn't know, does a weird thing where if you put a nonsense word, a non nonsense word in, you can change the language and it just changes the um, the accent. So you want to hear it in Japanese? That's what it sounds like. Uh, Romanian. For the English. Fonticulua. That's how we pronounce it. So all good. Fonticulua. I mean, Fonticulus wouldn't only be Latin, though. Because there'd be lots of lots of languages that borrow from it. Okay, here we go. So, right. I'm going to be pretty, pretty hardcore judgy, I think. Oh no, these are different. I think these are different. Enough. Oh no. Oh, that was weird. That was weird. Does that feel like I'm standing really high up, looking down? And then I move. Oh no, no, no. That's where your feet are.
because we've uh, we found something that looks identical to this, and because he's like cacti. Yeah, the Fonticula digitos. We have definitely found some of these before. Because, you know, Digitos, because they have fingers. Don't, don't scuff the ship. Do not scuff the ship. Very important, do not scuff the ship. Alright, found another sample, so we'll land up. Land down. Get ourselves grounded. Whatever. Quick scan. I mean, this definitely does feel the quickest way to get all of your samples done. Fonticular Digitos. I do appreciate the, uh, the Latinized names. The way I see it is if the hull's on 100%, it doesn't matter how bad your landing was. Like, that that's a fact. That is 100% a fact. If your, if your hull is at 100%, that was a perfect landing. That's a fact. Whether you choose to believe me or not, it's down to you. Doesn't sound good. Okay. Remember, if your hull's 100%, it was a perfect landing. Okay, done. Fonticula, Fonticula Digitos Emerald. We go. Like, what's that over there? Now I'm like, what's that? Yeah, definitely. I mean, we're judging the landing, not the location, so I think it's fine. Plant life and eat follows the B5 rule of Swedish meatballs. You can find it everywhere in the galaxy. I mean, yeah, there, there is. It's hard not to find Swedish meatballs in a shop, isn't it? <laughs> Have a quick look at the old galaxy map. Pick my next location. Unfortunately, it's on the other side of the planet, classically. Ah, oh, another happy landing. Oh, don't know about that. Yeah, Joe, that's not a perfect landing. By definition. If you lose, if you lose 56% hull, that's not a perfect landing. I, I, don't think, I don't think anyone can call that a perfect landing at that point. I'm really sorry. It's just, I don't make the rules.
try and get around this. <laughs> John, um, mm. what if your windscreen does crack and you're not trying to land? How do, how do we position that as an idea? But also, guess what? Um, Shill for likes time. It's 100, uh, an hour and 50 minutes in. If you fancy hitting the like button, we much appreciate it. I'm not going to do that again. I don't think. I don't think I'm going to do the the weird. Hey there, little Jimmy. What do you think of this? I think it's great. Probably not going to be doing that. Oh no. No, no, no. Take him to the sun. Star. Have I already been here? Maybe like a, I have no knowledge of this place. Fesco by Rackham. But we also have water worlds, so they're shinies, aren't they? So you probably got push a bit. Um, yeah, Hunter, I think the um, Omega Nebula, I think that's what it's called. I'm going to go and fly over towards these, so... But it'll make it easy for me to spot them, hopefully. High metal content. Go back to water. It's about the same way. Mm. Well, Hunter, if you do go out there... I mean, I want to go there, so... Right, have a quick look at the old galaxy map. So, the Omega Nebula, if I remember correctly, is like, over here? Okay, Omega Sector, Omega Nebula, bosh. Um, yeah. That's where it is. It's a nice little... Um, Nebula. If actually, I think it's that is much closer. I think. Yeah, it's much closer to the um, than the Statue of Liberty. Also, I'm going to start getting ready to plot the next jump as well. That I mentioned. Uh, Vanotta, hello, how are you doing? Welcome in. So I'm trying to make good time. Today's Stream is going to, well, the journey is going to feel a little rushed. Not the stream itself, just the journey. Formable discovered, eh? One day. One day. I'm not sure if we'll ever truly see Earth likes in the late. And the only reason like that we can land on and walk around. And the reason why I'll say this is because uh, they're just a level of detail. 
um, required to make it good is huge and I would just would worry about it being got right. Uh, for HP, they don't have a star system budget. They also have a much larger uh, galaxy as well. Oh, come on! <laughs> That's ridiculous, 89%. <clears throat> Things, Van, is that you can randomly generate. Um, you can randomly generate a surface of a planet, but you can't randomly generate the inside of a uh, of a spaceship. So that, that's that's the only thing that I'm thinking about there. Because that's not an Earth flight. That's... Wait, was there more than one water world here? Oh, I thought there's more than one. Oh, that is. But it has volcanism. We'll say. But then, at the same time, you can't proceed to generate a tree without designing a tree first. So, there is some of that, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, that. Mm. See, Vulture P, you go, it could be modular, but then you'd have to design different bits. And the interior difference between, say, an eagle and an anaconda is huge. Absolutely huge. Or a Type 9, which I know uh, Scorb always refers to as like a flying skyscraper. Yeah, but most of the, the thing is, uh, Vulture, is that most of the ship isn't cockpit. Even for an Aspect Explorer. I'm trying really hard not to fly past this planet. I'm trying really hard. And then... I keep looking away, and I'm waiting for it to happen. Yeah, medieval cyberpunk. Yeah, exactly. They are freaking huge. All the cutter. Belugas. All that stuff. It's um very much so, I would say. Would be a bit of a challenge. Not one I'd want to undertake. So Ah see Van, you've got you've got this tricky situation. Um, for Frontier, where if they half did it, they'd get given loads of hassle, wouldn't they? So that'd be like half half asking it. And I don't think that that's something they want to do. Um, and Joe, I 100% agree on that. I don't want ship interiors. <laughs> Not bothered. Not bothered at all. Um, I, I don't think it's. To me, it's not a big deal. Uh, it's not a deal breaker at all. The idea of having to run from one end of your ship to another constantly to get in and out is a pain, be an absolute pain. And there are times when you know you land at a settlement and you start being shot at immediately by um, by like um, 
what are they called? Raiders and or scavengers. And you just have to get out of your ship. And your ship can get blown up by the time you've got out. And that's crap. So I kinda like what we got for that reason. System scan complete. Oh, there's nothing in here. Right. Well. Yep. So exciting. And it's just by Cone Leth, who um I recognise that name. Prominent member of the community. Right, let's get ourselves ready. Um, that sucks, watch be. Um, I, I'm trying to, I'm kind of engaging the content that I am enjoying playing, and that's kind of what I always try and do. You know, it's like a, I think people want to see you doing something you enjoy rather than something you hate. I try. At least, uh, I think. Oh yeah, that. Oh wow. Okay. Got a lot of rocky bodies here. Like lots of rocky bodies, in fact. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not expecting it this year either. I, I think it would be very bold. How many bodies we got? 21. God, there is loads. But if it arrives in a better shape than when it arrived on PC, that's probably going to be a good, a good thing, right? I think most can agree on that. It's a very dark, muddy looking thing. Oh. I, I assume it would take longer if you were inside of your ship to run from one end to another. Um, and some ships don't have to. You know, it's like some ships you get on at the front and that's where the cockpit is. I still don't really want to have to do all of these things though, which is awful. It's like, I'm just not into that. Because the ships can be very easy to destroy at times. The smaller ships, there is a very, like, the speed of which they can be destroyed is huge. Like, it's just, no, it's well, small, tiny. But the difference between a big ship and a small ship is huge. Um, I think one of the one of the problems is is that you're able to beat a ship to death with the with a gun, and that's a bit crap. Like, should you be able to do that? Or well, no? Why would you be able to beat a ship to death with a gun? Like, that's not something that should be doable, so... There is that to consider. I think the, the, the damage scale doesn't feel right. This has one... one biological on it. Poor little planet. All alone. Well, nails, logically, yeah. Logically, that's 100% of what should be able to happen. Yeah. 
You know, we're going to go and check this one out. And whilst we're there, we will, or just before we leave, we'll start the jump prep. And that'd be the best thing to do. So you take down an aircraft carrier with a shoulder shoulder held missile system. Can, wait, can you? <laughs> what in real life? But then again, you gotta remember the ships that we deal with don't necessarily have um don't work in the same way, do they? Uh Jay, sir, hopefully that would be the case. Because there are some people that don't want to have to deal with that. And it's, I would say it's very, very difficult to make things more inconvenient for people and justify it. So, say for example, you're able to run around really easily, um, very, you know, piece of cake, run around super easy. You're in and out, totally fine. To add that layer of inconvenience is never going to go down well. Words are hard. I'm struggling with words today. Uh, Alexander, hello. How are you doing? Welcome in. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> How many blood plat? Well, if your guns can't damage it. I'm thinking if everyone stood on the surface of Earth and punched the planet at the same time, what would happen? What would happen then? Probably nothing. <laughs> Probably literally nothing. Yeah, I mean, lots of people probably would. Or everyone becomes as conditioned as a Shaolin monk. Okay, maybe I, I regret suggesting it after uh, Kuro's point there. Awakening Cthulhu. No, 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 no. We don't want that to happen, do we? Hey, Colin. How you doing? Welcome in. Yeah, Sonic, that's that's a classic. Come on, yeah! What have we got? Bacterial colonies. Yay. Uh, Alexander, no we do not. We are an independent faction. Um, we are fiercely independent. The Ploid does not share power. Oh god, Jason, god, that Skyrim reference. It depends whether or not you, uh, you, you, you then Fus her off the top of a mountain. Poor. I didn't, actually, I did sacrifice her to get the, um, that special ebony armor on my first playthrough. <laughs> no, Colin, we were talking about like a what would happen if everyone punched the world at the same time. <laughs> we were talking, I get that there, there's a leap. There's a there's a logic leap. Uh, yes, Tom, we have. I'm actually about to land on one. But yeah, it's this um, leap from I was talking about whether or not you should be able to beat a ship to death with your fists, and I'm like, no. And um, yeah. Uh, yeah, so, and then we went about what happened if everyone punched the floor, you know, all at the same time. Um, what I will mention is, uh, <laughs> and this is, this is one of these weird, funny things, um, 
Obviously, Joe, that would I would, would, would be all over that. Be all over it. Um, so, would you? Here's a question: Would you get in a swimming pool with a dead body in? Um, Colin, I don't know. I, I thought we kept, I thought we could. Um, but yeah, would you get in a, a swimming pool with a dead body in? The answer for most people is no. But here's the thing: the sea. When you get in the sea, like there's there's dead bodies in the sea, so apparently everyone has a limit of how many dead bodies they consider to be appropriate to um to to, to swim with. Everyone has a limit. That's weird, right? That's really weird. On the seat, it's a soup. Is that no? It's not been cooked, so no. Oh yeah, and also the raw sewage. Yeah. That yeah. Is this what, what have we got here? Oh. Engine reboot. <laughs> okay. Interesting. That's a shame. That's being a being a Horizons location. We're just going to leave now. I think we'll. Um, I kind of I did intentionally ram into one of them. Um, ah, see Vulture. I wasn't trying to land, so it's fine. <laughs> Peak. Um. What? Oh yeah. What power play module would be appropriate for a new ployed power play faction? Huge rail guns. Huge rail guns. Yeah. Yeah, Vulture doesn't count, doesn't it? Yeah, it doesn't count. Right, guys, those watching, I am plotting a jump. So you will be back on the carrier fairly soon. Um, did I not did I pick somewhere? Apparently, I haven't picked anywhere. Tiger guns, it shoots real tigers. That's ridiculously cruel for tigers. Bullets that are made only of your enemies. There we're talking. Oh, gone too far. Ployed after Venice. What? I've been talking to my wife about my uh, flatulence. Are you done? Just not in range. That's in range. How is that not a valid destin? This isn't out of range. This is not. These aren't out of range. Hang on. What's going on here? Why are these out of range when. Hang on. Right. Jump capability, 500. I don't think any of this stuff should be permit locked. Like, right? because when you click on it, it says that it says permits, right? And is anything out this way permit locked? I've got plenty of fuel. Oh, so that's too far. Yeah, that's plenty too far. No, no worries. Why can't I jump here? That's in range. There's no permit, because it would say there's a permit here. Oh, 
Oh no. How? It says it says it's out of range. It's out of range. But I can go there. No. I've got like 700 tons in it. So that's fine. Fine. Okay. That's all right. That's fine. That's okay. That's also fine. That's fine. Then suddenly it's not. So why is it suddenly not okay? Because that says it's out of range. It's not out of range. Say so I would probably have genuinely. Uh, Rocky Star, is that a bug? Oh, I didn't know that was a bug. In which case, yeah, that's probably what's happened. The thing is, Sonic, it's saying it, it it's going for places like 489. Ah. Yeah, see, I didn't know that was a bug. So actually, Rocky Star, it could well be that. Too many carriers and the sister. <laughs> Very ridiculous. Hey, Reticulon, thank you for subscribing. Welcome. Just happen to be too many carries in all of those systems. But I'm left like. What? Plenty of what? Moments? It's, it's charged. Yeah, it shouldn't do that. But then. Right, well, we're gonna jump into the same system as the carrier. Very peculiar. Uh, nails, that's an interesting point. Okay. Um, but then I, I was well under 500, so that's not the issue. Yeah, Colin, it's it's such a rich person problem, isn't it? It's like, oh no, so rich. Oh no, can't believe you have to deal with this. Oh, is the woes. Okay, so we're going to the the fully wig area, apparently. Okay, yeah, so this looks a bit more like it. So yeah, okay, right, that's a bug I did not know about, so it's good to know. Right, go here. Sorted. Stoneborn Studios. That's pretty relate. That's pretty relatable. Worked hard asteroid mining. Yeah, same. So yeah, weird. Very, very odd. <laughs> Is your swimming pool too warm? But sometimes, yeah. Not being funny, in real life, I would love to be that rich. I don't care. I'd be like, would it change you? Yes, yes it would. It would change me by making me rich. So... I'd be okay with being like... I believe the term is sicko-rich. Where... 
because you're so rich it's unreasonable. Um, I'm 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 all for that. Like I'm totally okay with it. <laughs> I wish. Jeff Bezos, Rich. Um, yeah, Kuro. Why not? Why not? No, I mean, probably not that rich because I would want to. I would want to give most of it to charity. Like, but I want to be rich enough where I don't have to worry about money. Like, it's not have to worry about anything. Like, what are you having for dinner tonight? Uh, gold encrusted steak. Cooked by Gordon Ramsay. That'd be fine. Uh, hey, Horace, how you doing? Um, it's going well. Trip's going well, I would say. Seems to be fine. <laughs> oh no. Um, irresponsibly, yeah. Um, uh, a number it's like how, how much money would you like to have a number where people get bored of you reading it out because it's so long that kind of rich would do it but yeah I'd want the level of money where I could just look after my family really and no one would have to worry ever Yeah, that kind of like a uh, parents would have to worry ever again, brothers wouldn't have to worry ever again, nieces, nephews wouldn't have to worry, in-laws, parents-in-law, look after them, you know, that kind of thing. Like, so, so rich that I just made more money than anyone can earn in a year, that kind of rich, you know, that kind of rich, that, that, that'd be, not, no, that's too extreme, but... I like to think I'm, I'm sensible and good with money. Like I've always said, that um, live like you've got none, and you'll always have some. So, yeah, slam dunk. That'd be good. And all of the elite dangerous community. Well, we'll go that far. I've met some of them. <sighs> Mad. But yeah, that's what I'd like. It's um, but no, Vulture P. My my um my in laws are nice. My mother in law is lovely, so you know I I can say that and be honest about it. I know she's not watching, and I can still say something nice about her. Always been very nice to me. Gary, 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 remember who you're talking to here. I have more than enough to worry about as things go. <laughs> Um, so, more than enough to worry about. And also, why, why are we dropping frames on OBS? OBS, what are we doing? Epic Store, are you downloading something? But well, bloody better not be. No, no, it's not. I'm having to quickly run around and make sure everything is closed that um, downloads things on its own because there's plenty, there's plenty of stuff. But um, of course, I'm not, I'm not inheriting any money. Like, like <laughs> that's for sure. Um, better not be Colin. Better not be. It's not allowed to download anything on its own. There is no reason for me to be dropping frames at all. I like. What's downloading stuff? Nope. What's uploading stuff? That's fine. No, 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 no. 
Razor. What the hell is Razor Sil- What? It takes it out of that. It's going to tell me why, why Razor is using 75% of my GPU. That would be good to know. <laughs> like, you what, mate? You what? I don't think so. <coughs> Start my own game company. No, Vulture. We won't do that. Uh, Stone Nebula. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm playing it. <laughs> um, 60 frames a second, quite comfortably. Um, flying around, without doing exploration, so it, when you're away from settlements, yeah, it, it, it's very playable. I will say that, yeah, I've had the same problem you have. Um, conflict zones can be rough, but it all depends on lighting. It all depends on lighting and what location. Um, yeah, Kuro, Synapse is a nightmare. Um, so I've got a Razer keyboard. I've got a Razer Huntsman Pro version 2. And it is an absolute bloody nightmare with the software. Um, Razer Synapse uh, makes the key stick. Keys don't stick until Razer Synapse is on. And then when it is, um, all the keys stick. So like I'm doing WAS and D for movement. And then I'll get stuck sliding off in one direction. And the only way for me to stop that is by pressing it again. And when synapse is off, it doesn't happen. Which is like, okay. So you've made software that doesn't work and clashes with your own hardware. Nice. A keyboard's beautiful quality, but... Just... One of those things where you're like, how did that, how did that pass quality control? I know. But yeah, frame dropping seems to have stopped. Now we've now we got rid of that. Yeah, I do have RGB, and not only that, um, when I'm playing other games, because thankfully Epic Store has fixed their mouse overlay thing. The mouse overlay, this is the mouse thing. Um, they, uh, the means I've been playing MechWarrior 5 again, and they've actually, um, I've actually uh, made, done quite a good job, so that when you go into a game, what, what change, the lighting changes because it's a it's a game that registers, and what you end up with is only the bound keys are lit up and functional, which I quite like. So it kind of means if you were to look down at your keyboard, you know exactly what you're pressing. Oh, Colin, crap! You play Swotor, you say? Um, me and the wife have been playing that together, the fresh characters. Been good. Um, but yeah, I've got Razor Mouse and Razor Keyboard. Um, the mouse is comfortable. I like a heavy mouse um, because I have like a, I have it quite. Um, uh, waiting to jump mini. Uh, did someone just leave? Could be an NPC. I think. There, there. Gypsy's there. Lee's there. Where's Gary? Hmm. But yeah, so. This one. Basilisk? Might be. Um, unfortunately, I'm, I. It didn't hold up throughout the course of the, the hottest time during summer very well, and it's got a little bit of um, the, the, the glue that holds the rubberized bits on the uh, thumb and little finger um, have started to come away a little bit. It's like, oh man! So. 
Look like a condor left. Oh. Contact. Now, now, now. Actually, wait, hang on. Where's Gary? Hmm. <laughs> so I'm assuming that's that's gonna be Lee. Ebby, yep. Um over here in their Corvette. Someone. I was going to go and solo the next. No, that's for it. Ah, right. Okay. Not checking that. Okay. Are we? Are we not? Why haven't we left yet? Three minutes. It's just felt like this is a really long time. Aim at the YouTube chat. Wait. Oh, right. I can't believe I've completely missed that, Gary. I blame Top Chat. Um, so, Colin is saying you last played Ridgely until the Spaceship Combat came out. Um, it was that rubbish. You cancelled your sub and put all your sub money into a dangerous Kickstarter for the year. Blimey. Because I, I mean, I played then and they added it. And I was like, um. It was, uh. I thought it was fine, I just didn't play it. But I'm. Interrupting Carrier says what? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I really enjoy it though. I, I think it's. The, the leveling feels a bit fast. And because I played it a long time ago, um, like, I was playing before the uh, ship combat stuff. Um, so I was doing the, the PvP and the, all the war zones, and I was doing operations and super into it, and then I stopped. Because I switched over to it from World of Warcraft, and then I went back to World of Warcraft for a bit, and that's what I kind of did every time a new expansion came out for World of Warcraft. I'd go back to it, play it religiously for a month, and then stop. Right. But yeah, both my wife and I have subscriptions for Star Wars at the moment. Oh yeah, and plus I left the security token active on my account. Didn't play the game for like five years, came back and had loads of cartel coins. So, you know, go and buy myself some flashy stuff. Um, and also, so Lee, you were asking about the chat that I've got one with the crown. That's for the uh, squadron leaders, squadron leadership stuff. You don't get to see that. That's private, that's secret. You're not important enough in the squadron. Sorry, mate. Uh, hey Colin, how you doing? Welcome in. Got a double Colin in chat. Colin P and Colin F it is. Hey, <laughs> that's first. That's me checking goop in my eye. Um, ever since I had chemotherapy, this eye gets goopy. Nothing wrong with it. They've checked it over physically. Nothing wrong. Yeah, Lee, you are a poor minion, mate. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's the way it is. <laughs> come on, come on. I thought this jump has taken much longer than 15 minutes. Don't know about you guys. Um, something's not felt right with how long this is taking.
Um, and play Knights of the Fallen Empire, quite enjoy it. Mm. See, I think it's quite nice to be able to go back and forth between them. Um, Colin, it, it's, it's nice to have another game to play. For sure. That's completely different. Because it's completely different. So... Oh, Picard, you've joined, have you? Oh, cool. Come along. Look at that, a multi-platform trip. But yeah, it's nice to have a completely different game to play um, from Elite, and I'm a fan of that. Now, does anyone want to ask if we're nearly there yet? Because guess what? We're bloody arrived. Oh, hey Zontar, how you doing? Um, okay, this is a good start. That we've found a bunch of stuff almost immediately in the system. Plenty of atmospheric malarkeys, non-landable. We'll see what else we can find. <laughs> yeah, Christopher, there's always some games that we get back to, I find. And Colin, yeah, it does. Definitely does. And what's going on? What's going on with the lighting here? That shouldn't happen. It's one of these things. Mm. Wait, Picard, your ship never went at the hangar. So did you get to see? Did you? What did your elf eyes see? What did you get? Did you see anything cool? Like, what view did you get? Or was it just... Yeah, now you're there. But yeah, the, um... It would be nice to be able to see. I, I think it's a missed opportunity to have us all sat on the deck. I think sat on the deck, watching it happen, would be insanely cool. The view just changed. Oh. It's a bit there. <laughs> Excuse me. Right, only one landable. Let's go for the next system. Over. Actually, what I would like is with the carrier, when you buy the appearance and you spend your ox on it, you're unable to go back. And I dislike that. Oh, it's very red star. It's very red. And there it is. Can I have some weird stuff in this one? We're not going to get weird stuff in this one. It's just going to be icy bodies. Isn't it? So something that I that um, talking about with carriers and ship interiors is I was thinking why not have a carrier interior and let that be customizable as opposed to just ship interiors. Wouldn't that be really cool? I I, I think. I would like that. That'd be. I'd use my carrier a lot. 
I would I would be open to that. But yeah, walking around on carriers should be a thing. Definitely. Yeah, there's lots of things that would, and I understand from a business point of view, it need to be like a this would, this would then make money. So it, it, it's a potential idea because you don't want to put something. You're a business. Frontier is a business at the end of the day. They do have to think about that. Like, I think there should be social spaces on carriers, and I'm still in the place where I think carriers should have been. Um should have been squadron based rather than individuals but that's just me uh, alright many of you sound thank you take care thanks for hanging out um, J26 did they did they say that and when did they say that and who said that it's kind of like the only person that I believe at Frontier um, when they say something like that is off He's he's um he has not told a lie. Like you mean brutally open and honest. Says I'm gonna be more honest with you, tells you things you don't want to hear. It's like, well when you ask for honesty. You don't get to cherry pick which bits, do you? But I think the community management team are in a a tricky spot a lot of the time. Um, like, genuinely in a tricky spot. Having to deliver some of the messages they have to deliver, it can't be easy. So lots of landables, and some with atmospheres as well, which is nice. So looking for looking for things with biologicals on, because if it's only got one biological on it, you can get and that's down here. Oh, that's there. Um, it means it's bacteria, and bacteria is boring. Sol's bacteria. I had to tell you, but you're boring. Even this isn't far, is it? So, hmm, 920 light seconds. <coughs> and also, you got to prioritise as well, haven't you? Um, I think that there's always this priorities over what you um, what you work on. Um, you, you've got to pick the right thing and the thing that's going to be best for the game, and you're always going to prioritise fixing bugs, I guess. But I would like a just whilst whilst I'm out there throwing wishes around like this wishes. You get a wish, you get a wish, you get a wish, oh, you'll get wishes. I'm, I would like a Golden Fleet Carrier paint job, please. I would like a Gold Fleet Carrier paint job. Sharpen, take my arcs. What do I want? <laughs> well, Colin, you're doing better than, better than I for finding stuff there. I'm not even bothered by new ships that much, Quasar. Um, except for if we get Guardian hybrid ships. Said it before, said it again. Guardian hybrid ships, that's where it's at. Definitely where it's at. Ok. 
Thanks. Right, let's try and see if we can do this right. I want to be able to get this one in six. Got to do it. So they said the, the the landable planet in uh, not the mandible. That's a good one. Um, it's a good solid autocorrect problem. Um, okay. Yeah, nothing but bacteria down there. But maybe a cool view. Haven't picked up any screenshots yet so far on the stream, so we probably need to get a couple of them. Pick the landing spot carefully. That just in between day and night. Should be good. an eye on the uh, instruments. Also, I thought this planet, this planet looked grey from where we were coming in, but apparently not. Whoa. Ah, uh, see Sonic, it's fine. I know what you mean. A purple ball. Dodgy lighting. Don't look at it. Oh. Get in there quick. So, the lighting. The lighting. Definitely funny. But also, that's a nice little, um, nice horizon. Let's go set her down. Also agreed, Colin. Also agreed. There should be some meshing. Or... Oh no. Oh, what's the gravity? Okay, this is about... This is officially a bad landing. Just in case anyone was wondering. It's, it's officially bad. Um... Officially bad. Lost some hull. And um, we got Atmo Horus. Um, and we have some uh, an interesting star as well. Yeah, that is why you need shields. It's true. It's like a, it is known. I mean, actually, even that view from here, like just from there, I think that's pretty, pretty nice. Yeah, it's important. It's important not to make the same mistakes. This is very much uh, I do them so you don't have to. Just remember that. Thank you. 
Yeah. Look at that. Alien worlds. Alien. Yeah, yeah, it's a bad suit, isn't it? I, I have intentionally made it awful looking. Um, and I, I feel like maybe I shouldn't have done now. But it doesn't look that bad in certain uh, circumstances. So... Yeah, all the atmosphere has looked good in my mind. Um, I, I've not seen a bad atmospheric. Yeah, I've had some unfortunate performance on some of them, but that's about it. But it just... It <sighs> sounds like it can be awful. The atmosphere atmospheric planets bring is just so... You can't deny. You just cannot deny that that isn't like a. You can almost imagine what it'd feel like stepping out onto an alien world, undiscovered by humanity. You're the first person to put your feet on the ground of a planet. No one has been here before. You step off your ship, you look around, and you see that. A strange sun, or a strange star, over a strange atmosphere in a strange sky. Strange stars all around you that you've never seen before. Just... And the only thing between you and dying of asphyxiation is maybe a couple of centimetres of suit. And that's it. Crazy. Yeah, Kuro, it's Raxler. Off in the distance. That's not a pyramid, that's Raxler. Raxler isn't a pyramid. <laughs> the purest green. Oh no. Let's go. Should we, should we go and head over to the pyramid? I mean that literally anywhere that anyone lands in the game could be Rack's leg. Just could be. I don't know. I don't know. It's looking less and less pyramid like the closer we get. Like a lot less like a pyramid. But it does qu create quite a shadow. And um, Mirinth, even even less as we get close to it. Yeah, cast a shadow. Well, there was the um yesterday. There was the blood planet. Like oh. So. Very interesting. It reminds me, as I say, it reminds me of um, Michael Moorcock writing. It's, uh, there was a character there at one point that had an entire uh, castle made out of blood. But like wet, flowing blood. Not congealed. Oh, 
Oh, there it is. Not so pyramid like. Alien worlds. They. gets me every time. And I hope humanity. humanity, if you're listening. gets out there and does some stuff. It'd be really nice if you did. But yeah, it's, um. L class Eldorf, Dwarf Stars. Brown Dwarf. Brown Dwarf. Yeah. <coughs> A bit far away. Let's pick the next location on the old galaxy map. The next system we're going to explore. Getting a bit spicy. Getting a bit spicy. It's fine. This is fine. But yeah, spooky stuff. I like it. I really, I really like. It. And this is one of the reasons why I wanted to do this because I wanted to come out and really enjoy the view. You know, I say sometimes you got to stop and smell the roses in the late. kind of what we're doing. If we can find roses. Stop and stop stop and sniff the brain trees. You know, it's um I feel like it almost reflects life in a way, doesn't it? Well, I'm not sure there's going to be much here in this system. I might be wrong. No atmospheric landables, which means I'm not bothering. Next system. Off we go. Yeah, I mean, Colonia. <sighs> Colonia. I went there once, and that was for the Dove Enigma Expedition. And you know what? That was enough. That was really enough. I was just like, it was cool and all. It was a great thing to go and do. Um, but that was kind of it. Checking uh, today's BGS orders to see what's going on in the Empire. The em my Empire. My Empire. I'm never. I'm never going to Beagle Point. It's just not happening. I don't want to go. I have no desire to go because it will just take too long. Uh, honestly, that's it. It would just take too long, and I wouldn't have anyone to shoot along the way. Unless someone wants to actually, like, come out with me, and all I do is just, every, when I feel the need, I get to shoot them in the face. Because that's what the Ploid would have. The Ploid would 100% have um, slaves willing to sacrifice themselves. Yeah. Actually, with that, I think we're onto an idea, aren't we? It's a water world. Very exciting. That might not have been discovered by anyone. Whee! Right, let's go. 
weapon. Get away. Oh, we were talking about it yesterday. Um, Monde de la Mort. The, um, the world of death. As we called it, as it is called in Elite. And we were talking about whether or not someone set foot on it yet. And they have. And I think that's absolutely crazy. And I'm hoping they got to stay there and get destroyed by a uh, destroyed by the neutron star. Oh no, the white dwarf, sorry. It's there. Right, indeed, we have a water world to go and have a poke around. Undiscovered. Yes. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, but then Quasar, I have, to, I have to drag down to astronomy all the way out to uh, Beagle Point with me. Oh no, Kuro. I'm talking about shotguns to the face, man. Like, yeah. What's that? This, this boar's deployed. Summon the death slave. Bring them out. Shoot them in the face. Done. That is the only problem. Uh, we've kind of just we've kind of called it off. I mean, yeah. He admitted I was I was correct. Um, like I was closest to the release dates and stuff for the uh, for Odyssey. Um, so I'm going to quickly mention so. Certain sci-fi movies um, talk talk about, in particular, like coming and attacking Earth and trying to steal things. And one of the things that they try and take is water. Is it like um, Battle LA? Awful movie. Could have been great. Was awful. Um, seemed disappointed in it. But yeah, aliens come down, they're trying to steal the water. That's what they're doing. They're stealing the water. Sucking up the water off the planet. And... Um... It's just like... Uh, uh, because there's so much water out in, in the galaxy. There is so... Like, water is one of the most common... Um... One of the most common... Um, chemicals out there because it's so easy to make and you could just there's asteroids full of it full of it, full of ice but uh, no no we're going to go to this planet where they have an army and military forces and we're going to go and suck up that water, maybe they, maybe they want the bodies in the water, Stephen, we were talking about that earlier, you might have missed that conversation uh <laughs> <laughs> where you know they just want to take they want to suck up the bodies maybe it's that maybe it's got the wrong body to uh, water ratio but yeah like you wouldn't mess even if you looked and went mm, would this be acceptable losses we'll go do something that will have no losses Stormborn yeah any anywhere there is frozen water. So easy. Frozen water, which is sometimes referred to as ice. But yeah, it's just like, you'd go, you'd do that instead. Because you would take one look, one look, at humanity and be like, now nah, they kill each other over stupid stuff, I ain't going there. Like, they the mess us up. No way, you go. No, you go. I'm not going, you go. B 
yeah, that's my that's my thoughts on that. All that stuff. And it's like things that are rare on Earth aren't necessarily rare rare in the rest of the galaxy either. So <coughs> Yeah, crazy I read they do that, and then it turns out actually we're the bullies. Cause there is that the the belief that if humans were to encounter an alien race, there is only two outcomes. Two possible outcomes. We obliterate them or they obliterate us. That's it. That is the only outcomes. Because human humans have shown what they do when encountering something different to themselves. I, I don't think there would ever be a galactic federation. Humans would just be like, nah, 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 nah. Don't trust you. You're aliens. You never, never really know what you want. Your motivations are too alien. Like, oh yes, they're aliens, that's what they do. I just think it's just what we would do. Which is unfortunate. I mean, like like the Terrans in the Star Trek Mirror Universe. That kind of thing. Colin, exactly. Or anywhere Europeans turned up. Um, like, that's the thing. It's like, yeah. Stephen, I think it depends what they look like. But yeah, like I say, in the um, the Star Trek Mirror Universe, we have first contact with the Vulcans, and the first thing we do is pull out a shotgun and blow them away, and steal their warp capable ships. Nice. So. And actually, buddy, you bring up an interesting point there. But would we attribute human rights to aliens? And would that be offensive to them? Just saying. Welcome to the deep philosophical part of the stream. I think a lot of it depends on how much they look like us. Like that would be the the key. And the, realistically, they look nothing like us. Nothing at all. <coughs> right, realistically, they look nothing like humans. Because evolution isn't a straight line to a destination. Evolution is happenstance and um, mistakes. So... I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm trying to avoid, I'm trying to really avoid the uh, how we treat animals and stuff like that conversation. I'm just not having it. Just so we know. <laughs> just in case everyone thinks that we're going in that direction, we're not. We're definitely not. You thought we might be, and I'm like, mm, no, no, I don't think we will. Well, this is what happens when I haven't got people to shoot. I have to start thinking about what I'm going to talk about, and you know, I like uh, talking about the big stuff. I always find it very interesting. You know, it's all those conversations where you can get really offensive accidentally, but that's why I'm not doing it on stream. So. Yeah. That's a double, it's a double impact as well. It was like, how unlucky would you have to? You'd be like, well, ha, huh, I'm going to build directly in this crater because there's no way another one's going to hit in the same place. 
Oh no. Oh no. Oh look, that's spawning it there. Oh, the squares. The squares. That another little little screeny. I know I'm I'm about to plummet into the ground. Really, really about to plummet into the ground. Oh. Okay. We're fine. Everything's fine. A bit worried about that there for a second. Yeah. Very interesting one. Um, Horus, yeah, I mean, if we've, I mean, but also if we'd found them, they'd found us. And that would be the terrifying thing in itself. <laughs> Arrakis, dune, desert planet. Weather, storms, no precipitation. Ooh, look at that. This is a lovely different colour palette to what we've had. Love even colour part to um, last stream. Getting some good ones. Once again, I'll be posting all these on Twitter after. The worms, the spice, is there a connection? Um, am I looking forward to Doom coming? Yes. Um, I am looking forward to watching it in Le Cinema. Which is a weird experience going to the cinema post COVID. If anyone hasn't been before, it's an experience. <laughs> 